Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to this video. And in this video, I will show you how to install GNS3 in your Windows PC. Now for that, you need to go first of all to the Google and you can type GNS3 and you can go to their website and go to the software section here. And now you can just click on the free download section here. Click here. Now it will ask you for the platform to select. So now we're doing this for Windows. So I'll go on the download section here and I can log in. Now you can log in with your account or if you don't have an account, just create one using your uh, email account, right? Now then you can download it. Now this should start my downloads. Yeah, and they have a bundle which you can get free, which has multiple tools. Um, I mean, if you want to try those tools, like the advanced submit calculator, TFTP server, and they have ping sweep software, which are all free NetFlow configurator. So I'll just click on get it and let's see where it takes me. So it takes me to the Solaris um, platform. And again, I can just download the free tool set here right, by registering it. So I will not register right now. And my downloads is done and I can see that this is here. So I can just click on this so that I can install it, press yes here. And then next, agree, next. And then local installation, I want the client and I can also download the VM. So GNS3 VM is mandatory if you want to run the, uh, I mean, the heavy um, appliances, right? So I will click on the GNS3 VM and it will need, uh, I mean, a lot of data to be downloaded. So make sure uh, you have the data in your, um, if you're on a broadband, that is fine. But if you're on some hotspot or something, so you need to make sure that you have at least one gig of data. So I'll click next and then I'll go to GNS3. Now it'll ask me where to install this GNS3 VM, whether you have a VM workstation, which is, uh, I mean, locally installed on EXI server, which is uh, any other remote server or a virtual box server or Hyper-V if you're using Windows virtualization. So I do have workstation as well as EXI, but I will go and prefer install that on the ESXi and hit next. Now it will install some other software, which is part of the installation. So you just need to sit back and relax and just go on with the wizard. Okay, so this is going on smooth. All the package is being extracted and now it is starting to download the uh, VM, as you can see, right? GNS3 VM, VMware, ESXi 2.2.29. So the setup, of the GNS3 and the VM should match. If you're downloading separately, maybe you have already installed the GNS3, now you want the VM. So you need to either update the GNS3 first, the client, and then uh, download the latest VM or just download the same version of GNS3 VM from the uh, download section, which you can see here, go to software. And now you can download the uh, GNS3 VM as well. If you go to marketplace, I think. Uh, but here is your, all the appliances that you can have. So you can go for this, okay, whatever. I mean, you can come here and you can get everything you need here, right? At one place. Cool. Now, if you just want to download the GNS3 VM, so just say GNS3, uh, I mean, VM download, it should point you to the exact, yeah, software. Download GNS3 VM, click here, and I can see that the section for downloading is here. All right now I can download GNS3 VM and you can see the version. Right, so that's said and done. Let's see where the installation has reached. So I will just pause the video uh, till this whole section is complete and then I will resume once the uh, I mean, process will go forward. Yeah, thank okay. you. So now as you can see, um, and this has prompted and uh, it is saying a notification that the GNS3 VM has been downloaded right? and it is in the download GNS3 VM, uh, VMV DSXI. Yeah, now hit okay. And now it will install some other tools like which is WinPCAP. So you just go and Install, finish, and this will install NPCAP. Just keep the default settings and just hit next. And we'll wait for this to complete. So what I can do is I can just, with the help of editing, I can just uh, increase the speed of the setup. So start the GNS3. 
So it is saying uh, about the telnet command and all. Just keep them all as the default and apply. Close. So this is the setup where uh, now it says where you want to install the uh, virtual machines, right? Um, all the images. So uh, in the earlier days, what we used to do is we used to run the appliances on the local computer. Now the appliances are, no, I mean, it, it is still fine if you want to run just the Cisco switches and uh, some ACs and the old stuff, right? But if you want to run the next gen devices, I mean, the firewalls, the load balancers, um, the VMs, right? Uh, you have to install and you have to go for the Genus 3 VM. So that's what I'm going to do. I will hit next. And then this is the server path, Genesis server exe, host binding and all those stuff if you want it for the future. Next, and connection to the local Genesis server has been successful. So, I mean, it will have a local Genesis 3 server as well as it will have, a, um, what do you say, the um, the VM as well. So before uh, the Genesis 3 uh, VM, I mean, selecting here, right? So what you can do is you can just go to the, uh, ESXi server, I, I will be installing ESXi server, I mean the Genesis 3 in the ESXi server, but this is um, how you install the uh, Genesis 3 web client, right? You can just cancel here and start using the Genesis 3 here with the local server, which is your local computer. Okay, you can just maximize and then just create a project and start test and hit enter. Now you can go here and you would have some default devices, which is an ethernet switch and a VPC. So you can just go on and connect them. The ethernet one and with ethernet zero. And maybe you can just start the, both the, so this has no CLI, this is just a switch, right? And I can also install a new one and I can connect this like this. And then I can run this as well. Yeah, let's do a connectivity between these two PCs. Double click on this. I don't want this. Next. And also, I want this. So, this should, should have a, um, the console, right? So, this is actually trying to run the console from the um, Solaris. So, I need to enter my Gmail account. Okay, fine. I have the PC one and I can have the PC two in the same window as well. Yeah. So I can just say IP 10.1.1.1 slash 24. And on the PC two also, I can say IP 10.1.1.2 slash slash 24. Now from here, I can ping the PC. So on PC two, I can ping PC one, which is on dot one, right? So I can just say ping 10.1.1.1 which is PC1, and this is successful. Uh, so that is how you install the GNS3 client in this video. And I, I will show you in my next, next video how to install the GNS3 VM. So stay connected. That's Thank it you. for this video and uh, hope you like the content on my channel. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like my videos, please do hit, hit the subscribe button. And, uh, and also uh, do not forget to press the bell icon so that you get the latest notifications of the videos that I upload on my YouTube channel. So. 